hello everyone in our today's video i'm gonna show you how you can create a subdomain and redirect your website to cloudflare domain so as you can see this is the cloudflare official website if you doesn't have an account you need to go and create an account and then make to log in so as you can see they have a quick solution for the login and under attack because the cloudflare they are providing a lot of security and there is a lot of things which you can get free and i already have an account which i purchased from that cloud fair which is running from here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use my account to just to make those things running from here and okay i'll verify as a human then i'll just go and log in from there and as you see while it's logging in here i have a versal logged in because i'm going to deploy my next year's project in versal here if i just try to go in my github i can show you what kind of project i have which i'm gonna just uh, post it there is a very simple project which called the image converter this is a simple application which just go and you can just do an image conversion within that application so if i just go and uh, open that image here as you can see it's a thumbnail which is uh, 50413 kv so i can just go directly to convert into png and as you can see the 10 percent reduce of the size if i want to reduce more size i can do i can like uh go into like a uh, 58 percent if i convert again you see how the size is getting less so this is what this application can do and also if i download the image it can be easily downloaded and it will save to your download folder so this is the very simple application right now so what i'm gonna do here as you can see we will first deploy this is not here because it's a different account so in the cloud fear which uh this is loading so i have a domain here which is reactability.org if i click on that it will open that particular domain data so this is my reactivity org and if you are curious what's about that it's a very simple sophisticated application where i am showcasing like the image converter email faker json generator so lots of things is right here which can really help you to create or boost your uh like developing purposes so this is how it gonna work so first of all as you can see from there i'll go in my dns and i'll go in records so this is the records where all your domain and subdomain parameter is there so you can see the a record which is the reactability.org and that's the record which is 76762121 that's the content record so as you can see previously i have one already running is fake store api server which i'm running here and from that server i'm just uh grabbing those functionality to grab the products list to just uh, implementing that fake store data which by which you can really work you can get the api and then you can work like that so this is actually hosting right here so you can easily see it how we are configuring that so that's the similar way we'll configure this one too but there is some uh, fallback is there which is really really mandatory and i didn't find a certain way how to configure that then i go through some of the documentation then i find the way so i'm gonna show that uh Lubrinat what I was facing so first of all let's go in Versal. so I'm gonna go add a new project click on add new project so I'll take my image converter so it's a Next.js application just I'll go the default behavior because it's a very simple Next.js project using the TypeScript so there will be minor error about it so first of all when it's just loading we can just go and create one a DNS record here so as you can see I'll go and click add record so first of all you can see the cname.versal.dns.com that's the cname you need to have that whenever you are redirecting to from the versal so first of all the record which i am providing it could be the cname you can put a name or others or text i will put the cname and the name required which should be let's say i'll make it image converter yt okay so that would be my name for my domain and over here i will just copy paste that same c name because that's the similar c name optionality and uh probably the most things gonna be happen and be careful you need to remove all these spaces and others so there's a cname.versal.dns.com and i want that proxy status should be proxy so it can having all the features all the uh like uh, uh security and other features should be available there and then you can see you can add up to 100 characters so of course you can go through their documentation where they align it more detail about the record attributes about the availability about the record text and add or edit record attributes so everything is right here you can go and read that so first of all 
as we did that i'm gonna save it so after saving it's gonna add that so this is the image converter yt which is the cname versal dns.com and is proxied and auto so this thing gonna work so if you go in our versal it's still deploying i think it's deployed already if you go to our dashboard right here so we will see our project overview and you can see because every time you deploy a project in versal it will uh give you a unique domain like its own domain from the versal dot app so this is the dot versal dot app should be there so means your domain it will not work so but let's go and try the functionality is it working if we go here if we click yeah everything is working so we can now assign the domain in our own domain right so i'll click on the domains parameter here and from there i will add a domain and as you see the name which we have been taken from here image converter yt you need to go with that the same parameter image converter yt then remember my parent domain what is what was my parent domain is the reactbd.org so that every single domain that a name it will be it should be under the a name so the c name it would be under the a name so this need to be there so it should be image converter.yt.reactbd.org and i will save that and after saving as you can see it's just assigning that so click on that and i think if we go in our overview if I just click on that react bd uh, i see the image converter right here okay ssl handshake failed of course we need to configure some of the scenario we'll do that for sure and yeah it just it just happened to be get the reload yeah it, it will just take a bit of time sometimes it's taking more time but sometimes a very few uh, seconds to get the passing the domain so i think this is cool so now our application is running from here and you can see the assigned domain is right that here so now we can access the domain from anywhere but you may if you're following the same scenario right now it should not be okay for you because you're gonna find an error which can can be that how do i risk that error too many redirects when i did the same parameter after watching several videos and documentation read it so i did the same setup but my application got that error so often and that is because as you can see if you're writing here when assigning a domain to a project on versal that is currently using a cloud for proxy you may encounter the error that error too many at redirects in this article okay so why this happening is that is uh okay cloudflare is serving https example.com and making requests to that http see that scenario is that cloudflare is serving https but request is going from that http so that's making the combination and for the solution is there as you can see ssl tls option in cloudflare to full so this is the option we need to make it in a full motion if you just go here you can see ssl tls so if you go in the overview over here so you can see right now okay this is full i made it full but if if you doesn't have the full you need to configure that and from there as you can see you can uh select a strict full streak or full so you need to be enable full otherwise you will get too many redirects for sure i can make it uh switch to in a normal but you know my domain is running from there maybe some people are still viewing that and it will not serve so i should not do that okay so this is the way you can configure it you can manage it uh by so far to maintain that and by the way while i'm using the cloudflare it's really really amazing Amazing because you can get each and every single data layer unique visitors the request everything is right there and they have a very good condition even versal they has that but it's not that much cheap and there is one issue which we showcase there if you go back to our domains the proxy detected and that is happened to be whenever we go to our dns records if you don't want the proxy should be detected you can either go like for this one we can go in edit we can just disable the proxy we can save and after did that you can see it will disappear uh, very soon so if you refresh that uh okay uh if refresh i think it's taking a bit of time uh did we do the same uh image converter yt yes so that's the one we did so if we go here and if we go in domain okay it's sometimes it's taking a bit of time so right now it's taking uh yeah you see that's done so this is just taking a bit of time but you will not find any error there so it will do the simple formal like a normal functionalities how the way it can be done but what i prefer of course you added that dns proxy so you can get a lot of things from the uh, cloudflare which is free so either you can use the versal i 
normally I prefer the Vercel, even my official website, which is running.reactivity.com, is hosting in Vercel, running from the Vercel, and I'm very happy with that. But for the Cloudflare, I really love they have so many scenarios. So you can try Cloudflare if you wanted to. And as you can see, when I make the DNS on, there is a certain thing. So record, C name, record for OK, proxy status, OK. So if you reload, it will just just disappear so this is the scenario how you can create a subdomain so if you are still with me then please to like the video and subscribe the channel and of course let me know whatever videos you're looking forward regarding that domain subdomain and other formalities or it should be the cloud fear or hostinger or versal let me know in the comments and i'll come back to you with another video where we can do the similar or more complex functionality and of course then, I'm going to see you in the next video.